Let's move on to somebody that I think we're probably not going to like. Okay. The Oregon State Beavers. You want to take that and just flip it? <sighs> yeah. I mean, just um, everything about it? Actually, yeah. I, 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 well, <laughs> here. Look, they, they went, Oregon State went 2-10 and 10 last year. Okay. One and eight in the conference. Six starters back on offense, seven on defense. Experience-wise, number two in the conference, number seven in the country. So that's good. All those guys that were there and really bad last year are all coming Are all back. back. Yeah. Good job. Head coach Jonathan Smith had signs of progress in year one, but still at least a year away from having a competitive roster. And that's the problem, right? They, right. they just don't have the dudes. Uh, I think Jonathan Smith is going to be a good coach. But I think that it was so depleted after Gary Anderson left there. You've, you've hey. got to find a way to recruit at Oregon State. Yeah. Number you've got 60. To get kids that want to play football to come there. Number 67 total offense, number 47 passing offense. Quarterback battle is between six foot seven, sixth year senior Jake Luton and Nebraska transfer Tristan Gibbons. So this um, could be the Civil War. I keep cutting you off. Apologize. That's all good. This, this could be the Civil War of the two tallest quarterbacks in college football. Yeah, I think both uh, six both seven six, has seven. to be. Yeah, the I think tallest. I think it is. I think it is. Uh, let's see. Jamar Jefferson, running back, returns. He finished uh, number nine in the country in rushing yards. Last year. So that's that's good. The offense obviously was was clicking. Number 129 in scoring, rushing, and total defense. All of them. They were next to last in every one of those categories. Look, they, they brought in a bunch of transfers, a bunch of JUCOs, but they just they need better players overall. Nine and at 39. Every, at, at every level of the game. Every position. And they're bringing all those guys back from last year, which means yeah. they don't have better players at all those places. Well, I mean, they, they brought in some transfers. They yes, brought in okay. some Juco guys. They, they got bigger. Some of those dudes are going to start over guys that were there that have been last there. year. So they're, yeah. not br- they're bringing them back, they're, which means they get to like dress and stand on the sidelines and practice. Pretty much. But those guys from last year aren't going to play. 9-39 and 39 over the last four years, the team had absolutely quit on Gary Anderson. Yes. Uh, tough schedule. Even in year two, I, I still think this is a year zero That's spot I, for Coach Smith. When, um, you're, when you're that bad in college football, it's not basketball of the one and done for all the freshmen come in and can play immediately. Uh, JUCOs do come in and change things quickly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think they can at this spot, it, it, at least not with this schedule. I got them two wins, and it's it, one of them I'm just, I just kind of give up. I have got them at one win. Their over-under is two. Over is plus 130. Yeah. And then the under is minus 150. So Ain't nobody hitting that over. Yeah, I, I, I don't think anybody's hitting that over. I, I gave them the Hawaii game. I, I know you them, don't. I gave them Cal Poly. Well, yeah, I think we got um, that. But I, I think they lose at home to Oklahoma State. I think they lose at, a, at Hawaii. But then the rest of this schedule. Well, it's conference, and it's brutal. Yeah, I mean, it's Stanford at UCLA, Utah at Cal, at Arizona, Washington, Arizona State, at Washington State, at Oregon. Talked about this a little bit in the South preview. They do catch Arizona coming off a bye. If that was at home, I would I would find a way to get them a See, that's the thing. The, the, but they're going on the road. The games that are that could maybe right. have been coin flips yeah. are all on the road. You're and at, then their you, toughest games are You got home. a bye week, and then you got Stanford. I just don't think Stanford's losing to this team. No, it, well, and then you got a bye week, and you got to go on the road to Arizona. So you you've got Cal Poly at home. That's right. right. I'm not worried about but that. But the other home games are Oklahoma State, Stanford, Utah, Washington, Arizona State. It's not going to work out. Who in that bunch are they going to be able to beat? It's tough. It's just tough. You're, you're in a rebuild, and you get, and you got to rebuild. That's what it looks like to rebuild. Yeah, I mean it's it's bad. They're really good at baseball. That, yeah, they are. They are definitely that. There you go. You got you got that though. And they're getting better at basketball too. True. 